Hello, I'm Amy Zaley with the Jerusalem Connection Report Friday Red Alert for November 17. People often wonder or question my assertion that those groups that organize BDS, boycott, divest, and sanction activities and their motions are indeed anti-Semitic and anti-Zionist. These so same folks often also question whether or not one can be ardently against certain policies of Israel but not against Jewish people as a whole. As well, there's plenty of people who believe that the PA and other Palestinian organizations and leadership members are genuinely seeking peace with its neighbor Israel and that they're not at all anti-Semitic, but again, simply against certain policies or actions by the state of Israel. To these questions that question my assertions, I say it does not line up with the truth. BDS, Boycott, Divest, and Sanction, the State of Israel, for its perceived ills that it has committed against perceived innocents, or better yet, quote, victims of Israel are, and other inhabitants of the land, well, I would only agree with one part of their statement. Many college students uh, today participate in BDS activities and rallies thinking in earnest that perhaps they are only against a certain governmental policy and are not against a people as a whole. However, the reality is, is that BDS movements and activities are funded by people who do not believe the state of Israel should exist and who have a general disdain for Jewish people worldwide. Investigations have already uncovered clear evidences that Hamas and other partners with Hamas are the major funders for organizations including the Students for Justice in Palestine, which are often the organizers of BDS activities on North American college campuses. We also know that these events directly correlate with anti-Semitic attitudes campus-wide and result in the bullying and harassment of the Jewish student body on the campus as a whole. Many students' studies have been conducted, finding uh, findings released that have, uh, even from the Anti-Defamation League, that there is a direct correlation between anti-Israel activities and anti-Semitism on college campuses. Needless to say, last week, the PA Vice President openly and proudly admitted that they are partnered with, behind, and support all BDS activities. PA Vice President Mahmoud al Alul confirmed that the PA ties to the BDS movement are deeper than realized. In his quote, We have relations with BDS. Our people work there, and we have delegates there. We cooperate with BDS on all levels, and we not only, we not only with BDS, but with every group who wants to boycott Israel. We are with every group working to lay siege on Israel and isolate it from the world. We are with. And this is from an organization that claims on the public stage that they're trying to make peace with its neighbor. It doesn't add up. We also know that speakers um, within the SJP, Students for Justice in Palestine organization, are also, pri also privately coached to not share their true feelings about the uh, right to exist for the state of Israel and that they want to, quote, push it into the sea. Because this would solidify the anti-Semitic label that many organizations are starting to put on the SJP. So they are carefully coached that in public, even though they all agree with the idea, they mustn't speak of this because they don't want to fall into that anti-Semitic label. This would quell their opportunity to speak on campuses. Not only is this connection verifiable with careful study, but studies have been done that have resulted in 27 states actually passing legislation that state funds cannot be used with any organization or business that engages in BDS activities because it already violates existing anti-discrimination anti laws. Tamara Ziev noted in her Jerusalem Post article late last month that the correlation between BDS and anti-Israel activities on campuses that are sanctioned or supported by department heads or faculties are resulting in increased attitudes and hostility against the, Jew the general student body, Jewish student body. This is a dangerous and unacceptable trend in education institutions that are supposed to be about free thought, open dialogue, free speech, freedom of assembly, tolerance, and diversity. So this correlation is very disturbing. It is open season on Jewish students and by default many Christian students who support them when department-wide and academically or faculty-supported BDS activities and anti-Israel activities are occurring on campus. 
This research was conducted by several nonprofits, including the uh, watchdog group called AMCHA Initiative. They did three separate studies over two full calendar years, noting the correlation that the increase and uptick of anti-Jewish attitudes, bullying, and harassment was four to seven times more likely on a college campus if a department or a faculty sanctioned or participated in an anti-Israel event. This is absolutely a scary thought for the Jewish students and those who support them on college campuses. It is open and, and uh, discrimination where students are feeling safe or at ease to participate in it or express it. This study included a research of 557 academic units affiliated with ethnic, gender, and Middle Eastern studies at 100 schools. The organization has also recorded 466 known anti-Semitic incidents so far in 2017. This research group is by no means suggesting that we should quell or ban speakers on college campuses, and, but rather open up an awareness and a candid discussion on the reality of its results. Moreover, I would argue that it means that opposing viewpoints also should be ushered into the college campuses so that there is a fair and balanced and honest debate on the issues at hand. Shavua Tov. Have a great week. Shabbat Shalom.